All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my Buffalo Bear, Buffalo Bills at Chicago Bears post-game recap. Now, Mitch Trubisky got the start for the Buffalo Bills today. And in his revenge game, Mitchell Trubisky went 20 of 28 for 221 yards, one touchdown, None interceptions, and they had three rushing touchdowns. Um, Reggie Gilliam scored two touchdowns. Devin Singletary had a rushing touchdown. They had a two-point conversion uh, not made, and they had a two-point two conversion made. And uh, Tyler Bass kicked uh, quite a few field goals in a 41-15 to romping of the Chicago Bears at Soldier Field in Chicago. A very tough place to play. Justin Fields looked like a peewee quarterback this week. Um, Mitchell Trubisky was on point. His accuracy was hella good. Um, like I said, 20 of 28 for 221 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. And he just looked good. He, the, the Bills were moving the ball. I think the announcer said when Trubisky was in, they scored on seven of eight uh, possessions. Seven of their first eight possessions that the Buffalo Bills scored on. That's amazing with Mitchell Trubisky. So, Bears fans, how do you like Trubisky now? He just went in there and whipped your ass. <laughs> People say, oh, it's preseason, it's preseason. Well, the Bears starters played well into, uh, I think, the second half. And they couldn't do nothing against the Bills backups. The Bills second and third stringers whipped the Bears starters' asses right out of that stadium. Even though it's preseason and your starters can't beat an engine squad, <laughs> something's definitely wrong. Something is seriously wrong when you're back when your starters can't beat a bunch of second, third, and fourth stringers. I I don't care if it's preseason or not. I'm a starter. I should be whipping your your second and third stringers all over the turf. But the Chicago Bears, they're not a good team. Uh, Forty one to fifteen, the Buffalo Bills went in there, pounded on the Chicago Bears. And come out victorious. I liked what Reggie Gilliam done. I think he makes this team. Uh, I didn't see much out of Matt Breda today. I didn't think he did enough um, to keep his job with Tuesday's cuts coming up. And the wide receiving core. That's going to be a, some tough cuts right there. I did like what I saw out of Reggie um, Isaiah McKenzie. I did like what I saw. The punt return from Marquez Stevenson. And Duke Williams, unfortunately, the guy can't catch. I right? put a fork in him. He's done. Jake Fromm. I don't know. I didn't like what I saw from him today. Davis Webb. I didn't like what I saw out of him today. Um, they got one more game. At uh, Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park against the Green Bay Packers. Three preseason games this year. So, I think they're going to beat the Green Bay Packers. I think they're going to go undefeated in the preseason this year. I think Josh Allen's going to play. Uh, don't know how, how long he's going to play, how much he's going to play, or what quarter he's going to play in, too. But I think he's going to play. Um... And I liked what I saw out of the defense. Gregory Russo. A.J. Epinesa. Carlos Basham Jr. fucking took, took uh, Justin Fields' head off almost. Um, you know, it's, it's Carlos Basham. He's going to be a beast. So is Gregory Russo. Uh, Gregory Russo got another sack today. Um, you know, it's... I don't hear much from Matt Oliver, though. Um, 
but that's probably a good thing because that tells me he's got his job locked up. But, um, and I like what I saw again. Like I said, out of Isaiah McKenzie, Gabe Davis, Gabriel Davis, he's a keeper. I think he's won his job. Jake Kumaro, touchdown Jesus is what they call him. <laughs> I think he's uh, locked a spot on this roster. And that leaves Duke Williams and Isaiah Hodgins, the odd men out, I think. I think Jacob Hollister secured the tight end position. He had a hell of a game today. I think Dawson Knox uh, maybe go to the practice squad. I don't know. We will have to see, but I don't think Matt Breda today did enough to win his job. I think Devin Singletary uh, and I think Zach Moss are going to be the two running backs. Um, and th the receiving battles, that's just... And I think uh, Mitchell Trubisky, Mitchell Trubisky just sealed and won the backup quarterback position. So now it's between Jake Fromm and Davis Webb for the third string position. And what a battle that is. And I I think the, the defense is going to battle right into next week against the Green Bay Packers. So, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. This is Sports Down. Peace. Go Bills. Let's beat the Packers. And then get ready for week one against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Big Ben and company go into Buffalo for week one. Go Bills. Let's beat the Packers next week.